What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be replacing the cabin air filter on this 2013 Ford Fusion. You can go to your local auto parts store and find this manual in the filter section. Just find your make, model, year, and engine size and it'll tell you the correct filter size you need. You can pick up these filters at your local auto parts store for about 20 bucks. This cabin air filter is behind the glove box, so we're going to have to remove the glove box, this trim piece on top, and the side piece to the right. This trim piece right here, it just pulls up. Once you pull this trim piece off, you can just set it to the side. The glove box is held on by four screws with a 7 millimeter head. So there's going to be two screws on top, and then two on the bottom. One right here. This other one's hard to see but it is right there. All right, so we're gonna open up the glove box. We're gonna get a flathead screwdriver and pry this piece off. Get started and then we'll pull the rest off by hand. We're gonna set that to the side. Now we're gonna remove the four screws that holds in the glove box. Now I didn't show removing the two screws on the bottom, but don't forget you have to remove those as well. All right, so it takes a little bit of prying to get this off. So after you pull it loose, there's one little clip you have to undo. Just pinch it and it comes off. All right, then after removing the glove box, there's going to be two Phillips head screws. Got to unscrew those. And there's two little tabs on each side. Just pull those out of the way. Grab the tab from the top, pull down. That will expose your air filter. And you can see how dirty this is already. And all you do is just pull it out. Look at how filthy that is. Wow. All right, so we have our new air filter. And it shows you which way to put it in with the arrow facing down. You slide it in there. Push it in place. And then push the tabs on the side back to lock it in place. Put your Phillips head screws back in there, screw it in. And we're ready to reinstall our glove box. Connect the clip back in place. This is pretty easy to get back in place. Just line it up and give it a push. Now we're ready to reinstall our screws. To hold our glove box in place. For that one screw that was so deep in there, I had to use a seven millimeter hex socket nut driver. All right, and now we just put on the side piece. It just snaps in there. And so does the last piece of trim. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing.